So today I am showing you how to perform a sound file upgrade on your ESU Loke Sound equipped locomotives. As you may know, ESU is constantly recording and compiling new updated sound files and improving them so that we modelers can have more accurate sounds for our locomotives. For this video, I'm going to use this Canadian National SD40-2W from Intermountain. This is one of the first run of the Intermountain SD40-2. So it originally came with a Soundtrack Tsunami 1 decoder. I later ordered a 21-pin motherboard from Intermountain for $5 and upgraded it to an ESU Log Sound Select decoder. The sound file on the locomotive is from over three years ago, so it is due for an update. In order to do this, you will need to have a Log Programmer. It is a piece of hardware that allows the sound files to be loaded onto a decoder from a personal computer. You can usually find these at retail for around 130 to 140 US dollars. If you have a lot of ESU decoder equipped locomotives, this item is a must have. If you only have one or two locomotives, then it's probably a good idea to ask a friend who has a Loke programmer to help you out. Make the three connections of the Loke programmer as follows, power supply, USB cable to the computer, and the two track outputs to a piece of track. Then put the locomotive that you want to program onto the track. Open your web browser and download the Low Programmer software on ESU's website. After the software is installed, you can search for the sound file you want on ESU's website. In my case, this was easy because the GMD 16 cylinder 645 was the most recently uploaded sound file. So it was the first one on the list. Just download it and open it on completion. Click on the Programmer tab and then Write Sound Data to write the new sounds onto the decoder. Note that this process takes about 25 to 30 minutes, so be patient and do not touch the locomotive or the loc programmer in the process. After the sound files are written, you can change CV48 to match the bell and horn that you desire. To change the horn, increase or decrease the CV48 value by 1 to go to the previous or next horn. To change the bell type, increase or decrease the value by 64 to go to the previous or next bell. When you are satisfied with the settings, click on the Programmer tab and then Write Decoder Data button to save the settings. Here is a demonstration of the new updated sounds. The last thing I'm going to do is to change the address of the locomotive uh, and correct the number board lighting function and also disable the flashing ditch lights because CN's ditch lights don't flash 
as far as I'm concerned. All of these modifications can be done in the Low Programmer software interface. And after that, we are all done. Hope this video was helpful to you, and I will see you next time.